Eric here from Boulder Road IO, where we design your prototype in 10 days or less. In this tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a list view card view swap. You can see here, this is for a video camera company that I've worked with. Uh, they have a table with data in it and then there's uh, a switch between card and list view. So we're going to go ahead and go through the triggers and components in this. There is reordering, um, there's variables, and then there's sending and receiving um, messages in scenes. That's what is contained in this. So first we're gonna start on this main layer here. You can see I created a component out of this list view and card view button. Um, and we're going to have to be able, in order to communicate with that component, we're gonna to have to do send and receive uh, communications in the scene. So I'm gonna say that when we receive, this is list view. And this is going to be card view. Okay, so we're going to have to do a couple things here. These two layers are the table and card view. I have one set to an opacity of zero so that when you view the page for the first time, you can actually see it without seeing this overlay here like so. So you have to set the initial state to zero. Um, now let's go back to this. So we're gonna do the reorder. Where is reorder? Here we go. So we're gonna do two of those, one for each layer. So you got the scrollable table and then you got the scrollable cards. So this is going to be sent to the back here. Um, and this will be sent to the front, the scrollable table. So you have the table that's sent to the front and you have the um, scrollable cards, uh, which will be sent to the back. And this is when we receive the message list view. The other thing we're gonna have to do here is make sure that the opacity uh, for the scrollable table goes to 100 and the scrollable cards goes to zero. Now we're gonna copy this, put it here. This is card view. And of course, this can be interchangeable to other things. It doesn't necessarily have to be a card view table view uh, swapping or switch. Um, you can see this applicable to a lot of things. If you have a dashboard with special components on it that need to be shown or hidden, you can use this reorder function as well. So we're going to set the scrollable cards to 100 and the scrollable table to 0. All right, so we have the receive function set or the receive trigger set here so um, that when the card view and list view are sending a message to this scene uh, and the scene receives card view or list view, it's gonna reorder the things in the proper fashion. So let's go to this component here. So now that we're on the list view card view, um, this layer is literally just a rectangle with a border of one and a text layer over it wrapped in a container. It's the same for card view. Um, we're gonna have to do a couple things so that on tap, let's start by sending the scene a message called list view and card view. So when we tap card view, it's going to send a message to the scene called card view. Uh, and we tap list view, the container, it will send a message list view. We're also going to have to do something with the color so that the active state will change based on what you click. So we have the card view and list view backgrounds. This is card BG color, and this is list BG color. And this is tapping list view and tapping card view, list view. 
All right, so when we tap the list view, we want it to change to this active state. Whatever layer we tap, we want to change to this blue. So we're going to do that here. This is blue, 100. And then this is going to turn to white because it's the inactive layer. Now let's copy that in reverse to the card view. So we're going to take the blue, assign it here. And then we're going to turn this to white. So now we got the tap function where when we tap, it's going to send a message to the scene saying card view um, and the other components outside of well, the other things outside of this component will receive that message. So now we're able to communicate from this component to the scene. So let's see what that looks like on the scene layer. Now, um, Remember, we have the receive functions here that are responsible for reordering. So when I click, it reorders to card. So that was a quick way to show how to reorder layers. Um, and in this use case, the reordering of layers was to demonstrate switching between card view and list view. The protopy file for this is in the link below. And I appreciate the time to watch this tutorial. If you have any questions, please uh, drop a, that in the comments below.